Hey everybody, let's talk love. Happy Tuesday. It is Let's Talk Love, right? Time for a new topic Tuesday. I'm excited to be here. I did miss this Saturday. I was on a boat and the cell service would not work. So I'm sorry if you were there on Saturday. I'm there most Saturdays at 11 and here on Tuesdays at 2. But if you can't make it live, go ahead and send me a DM, send me a question. I'd love to know how to blow wind in your sail. It's great to hear from you all. And when you let me know, you know, tell us more about this or tell me more about that. Now you can see we've got our mascot here. We've got our flying pig because we make the impossible a reality, right? We traffic and, oops, I'm gonna close that. We traffic in making the impossible a reality, right? might seem impossible sometimes in our relationship. I'm actually even shocked how quickly we can go from like, oh, I love them so much, things are so great, to I can't believe I'm married to someone like this. <laughs> now, it does get easier and easier over time. The first, I know, the first three, four years of marriage were certainly the hardest for my husband and I. We've now been together for 16, 17 years almost, and married for 14. But really, the most important part is not about having a perfect marriage because that doesn't exist. It's about not loving perfectly, but it's about loving better, right? I like to say that all the time. It's not about loving perfectly, it's about loving better. All right, but this week it is New Topic Tuesday, so we have a new topic. And this week is another exciting, fun week because we have on Wednesday, tomorrow, we have our free masterclass of the month. And this month, it's on the four top tips to tame tension and create connection. So this is all about really what are the things to do before an argument starts, as an argument starts, in the heat of an argument, and then after an argument. I'm gonna bring you one tool from each of those four areas. And each and one of these tools I could talk about on their own. So you'll be getting a nice, you know, top level. Of course, if you come by, you come live, you're going to get the playbook as well for free. We usually sell that for $33 or the masterclass um, when it's not being offered live, which is only one week a year. Um, then you can purchase it, but it's $99, right? So if you want to get it for free, come and join us live tomorrow uh, at 5.30 p.m. Pacific time, right? Looking forward to that. So we have four tips, what to do to keep the fights clean before an argument starts, as it starts, during an argument and the heat of it, and what to do afterwards to reconnect and to do better next time, because that's what we're aiming for, doing better, doing better. Now also going on this week is, it is a new vow of the month. It's the beginning of the month. So this month's wedding vow is actually, Raj and my most difficult wedding vow. It's the wedding vow itself is, I promise to breathe deep, get off it first, and give, especially when it's difficult. Now, what does that mean? Well, I promise to breathe deep. <sighs> Super important. It's just always surprising to me just how powerful even one deep breath is. I encourage you, if you're watching this now, just take a deep breath. it can actually work wonders. Now the second part is to get off it first. And getting off it is like if you're triggered or upset, we learned that term from Landmark Education, you know, with the Landmark Forum. But if you're upset or triggered, then it's about letting that go and not because you should or not because they're wrong and uh, or they're right or you're wrong or you're right, but simply because you can't move forward together in conflict as adversaries. You wanna align as allies, remember that you're on the same team, remember that you want the same things. It may look different, but you won't both want great communication, you both wanna have more play, peace, and passion. These are things that we all want. So getting aligned on what you do want. So the, that promise, that wedding vow, I promise to breathe deep, get off it first, not just if you deserve it, do I get off it? And if I was wrong, I'll get off it. But whoever comes to their senses first will get off it first. And then to give, especially when it's difficult. So it, it builds that muscle, it builds that couple culture for us of what are we gonna do 
to day after day, year after month after month, year after year, to have our relationship keeping keep getting better and better and better. And that's to be generous. That's not to say, well, it's my way, the highway, or if I get what I want, then that's cool. It's win win or no deal, right? So we have 12 wedding vows. This That's August's wedding vow. I promise to breathe deep, get off at first, and give, especially when it's difficult. But we do have 12. Now, you, if you're getting married or know someone who's getting married, you may want to check out our Vava Vows program. That's pretty awesome. Um, it helps you. You don't have to create 12 wedding vows, but it'll help you create wedding vows that don't just wow you and your guests on your wedding day. And it doesn't just take this stressful pressure you know, out of the realm of this intense task that you have to squeeze in and puts it into a pleasurable experience that you get supported in. That program is called Vava Vows Visioning. So you can check that out. I love wedding vows. I've gotten to write a lot of wedding vows in the last number of years and even be at some of those weddings for the vows that I got to help the couples write. And it's just such a joy and delight. And now I know how to support those couples, what we're listening for, because that's what I do. I ask people when they come to work with me and they're married, I'll ask, what did you promise? Almost every single time I hear the same words, which are, hell if I know, <laughs> hell if I remember. And so creating these vows aren't just about creating them that well you now, but will you later? All right, so, so far this week, we do these quick in just 15 minutes, right? I know you don't have a ton of time. Life is full and full on, so we want to give you the new topics. Boom, boom, boom. So, so far, you've got tomorrow, you've got the free masterclass and the free playbook if you come live to the four top tips for taming tension and creating connection. Those are those four communication tips that help you end conflict and embrace intimacy. We've talked about the vow of the month, right? And we've talked about Vava Vow's visioning. Now, we're about to wrap up the season of play here. If you've been following For Better Love, you know that we have three seasons, one for play, one for peace, and one for passion. And we do 90 days towards our relationship goals, and then 30 days, quote unquote, off, and then 90 days on, and then 30 days off. So we have this open and closed loop about what we're aiming for, what we're leaning in to have be better. And so I encourage you to make the most of these last few weeks of the season of play. The season of play goes from May 15th until August 15th, and today's August 2nd. I think it's the 2nd. So we're on that final stretch. This is the last two weeks of the season of play. Now, does that mean you can't have play outside of the season of play? Of course not. It's just this period of time where you, you take your relationship vision or your marriage mantra or your wedding vows and you look at it and say, what is it that we're committed to creating next? Well, I'm committed to creating this. You're committed to creating that. What are we committed to creating together? And then playing that game, not as like a fix it and a should and we need to talk, but hey, I know, let's play a game. What if we did this to make our communication better? What if we practiced the OCC tool? What if we made Bibto our bitch, right? And just, that's our tool. And that's the one we're gonna use over and over and over and over again. Um, really, these are the, the games that you can play every 90 days. We'll go through the cycle with you and support you in creating those goals and leaning into those goals. And at the final stretch, really kicking it up a notch to make those goals a reality. Because you know, when a couple creates a vision or creates their marriage mantra or creates their wedding vows, it's beautiful and I love it. And if it's something that just collects dust or you forget about, then what good was it really? Maybe for a nice moment, but it's about keeping those alive, printing them, putting them on screen savers. Raj and I have taken our marriage mantra and we took photos of us. We even recorded our voice and put it to a video and music that Raj wrote actually. And I have that bookmarked on my computer, a shortcut, and I have it bookmarked on my phone. So let's say we're in a conflict and we're even too upset to say our vision to each other. We can just hit play and it will do it for us. Now, if you ever do the full limo ride program where I help you write your vision for you and it comes with all sorts of bells and whistles, comes with the Fights Clean Sex Dirty Toolkit. I'll also make a vision for you, a vision video for you of your shared relationship vision with your beloved. But I set it up, creating a vision so you can do it with me and get all that extra support in the full limo ride, or you can do it DIY and just buy the playbook. It's only $33 and walk through it on your own. 
or you can take the course, which is $333. So I, I set it up so there's different levels of support based on how much support you need and want and how much support you can afford at the moment. Because I know time is finite, money has been a finite resource. And so I wanna give you the opportunity to choose something that works for you. I love, love, love just really holding the hands and walking couples through this vision process. I love the wordsmithing, but I wanna make sure that you have access to this no matter what um, ability you have for your budget for the moment which is why I do the once a month free masterclasses. Those are every Wednesday on the first Wednesday of the month, 5.30 at least for this year, for 2022. We'll see, I think we'll do them again next year, but we'll see. But join us, join the community, the For Better Love community of conscious couples that are leaning in for loving better, but not being too significant about it, right? We need to talk is like fingernails on a chalkboard. Instead, what you wanna be saying is, Hey, you wanna play a game? What if we try this? What do you think we should try? So I invite you to lean into Loving Better, to join us on Saturdays at 11, on Tuesdays at two here on Instagram Live, and then reach out to me in the in-between. Send me a message, let me know. I'm here to help you create more play, peace, and passion in your marriage or relationship. That's why they call me the Love Trifecta Coach, because if you have a playmate, if you have a sanctuary and you have a lover, then you have the trifecta, right? The love trifecta. Only challenge is, is you don't just win that. It's not the lottery. It's not luck. You have to actually create it. And it doesn't just happen over one period. It's something that you do as your couple culture, little by little, day by day, week by week, month by month, until it becomes the fabric of how you relate and how you set goals and how you goof off and you are with play and intentionality creating your couple culture. A year or so ago, maybe two years ago, oh gosh, probably three or four years ago now that I think about it, Raj and I, we were doing one of our retreats, one of our goal setting retreats and we created a purpose for our relationship, which is that our love and lives lift us and others up by bringing play to accountability. So what does play, bringing play to accountability mean? It means saying and asking yourself as a beloved, what do you want? What do you want? What do you want? And then playing a game habitually to how do we get closer to that without getting attached, without shooting on yourself or your partner, but really just having a habit of looking for what do we want and how could it be even closer to that? What do we want and how can it be even closer? And even if let's say you reach 20% of your goals in one of those 90 days, that's still 20% closer. That's still 20% of loving better. So I'm Gabby, your love trifecta coach, helping you create more play, peace, and passion. Thanks for checking us out. Let me know how I can support you and blow wind in the sails of your marriage and relationship. And I hope to see you on Saturday or Tuesdays. Check out forbetter.love and our masterclass this week on the four top tips for taming tension and creating connection. See you soon.